Alright guys, in this video we are going to be getting the Pinterest Share plugin. Alright guys, now in this video I'm going to show you how to get the Pin it Pinterest Share button. First I'm going to show you the way not to get it, alright? Because this way is so confusing and you have to do all this crazy stuff. But I'm going to show it to you anyway and for all you techie guys out there that just can't give it up, this is where you get your Pin it button for your website. All right. However, it does not work just with this script. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go to the back end of this WordPress website. Now this, yeah, and then go to widgets, and I already have this code in here that I was demoing. Click paste, and you'll see what it doesn't do. All right, let's go to the front end of the site. This is just a test site it does nothing um, I'm gonna refresh here and there's my button right there so when I refresh it and then I click pin it nothing happens alright even if I put some information in here whatever it is and try to pin it it will not go anywhere because it doesn't have an image to show alright alright so anyway what initially you would do you would put in the URL where you want the pin to go to okay and then you would put in the image let me grab an image from somewhere and see okay this is the image that we're gonna grab so I would copy that and then you have to come back over here and I don't know why and then you paste that in there so this is what's gonna happen this image is gonna show then when you click on the image it's gonna go to that website so let's copy this code again copy put it in our widgets to replace that one paste save and then go to the front end refresh and then I'm gonna click share and that image that car image should show up there and it didn't you know and the reason why I can't tell you it's just that I don't know I have no idea why that is and this doesn't even look like it's changing Ah, now the code changed see it's so unstable this share button when you grab it in Pinterest so let's just that's the new code that's the way it should be hit save and then we're gonna go put to the back reload our page and then we're gonna click that pin it button right here now there's our image and then when you pin it you can go see your pin now when you click it it will take you to the site but obviously this site is under construction so there you go alright now you see how much trouble that is right it's just too confusing I mean I wouldn't even deal with it and that's why I want to show you this alternative if you have a WordPress blog alright this it's only for WordPress users if you have a WordPress site you just grab this plugin right here Pinterest pin it button and I'm gonna go to the site now I've already installed it so you would just install it in your WordPress site and then it'll add this new menu to your back end and then over here you just set where what behavior you want it to do like you can show the button above the content on the post excerpts and all that good stuff okay so that's where you would set that up and then you would save changes now let's go to the front end now as you can see as I go through these pages just going to a different page you'll see the pin it button here and here and then when you pin it's gonna take the images that it sees okay so that is how you grab the share button for Pinterest just remember don't grab it here <laughs> well if you just have to and you don't have a WordPress site then you have to grab it here alright otherwise if you have a WordPress site just grab this button right here and you should be fine for the people to pin your stuff on your website. Now, one more thing that I need to mention here is that with this Pinterest plugin, if you are adding it to your WordPress site, let's let me hold on, let me copy this and then I'm just gonna paste it and look for it in my WordPress backend where my plugins. So I'll go add new and then right here, quick tutorial on WordPress, I just paste that in and then it's going to return all of these searches so this is the one that I have installed here's another one Pinterest pin it button looks like it's, it's the same thing 
two different developers though I see yeah oh, oh well uh, pin it on Pinterest and then they got some other stuff down here so Pinterest galleries I don't know what that is pin it on anyway so that's what you would do just click install and make your configurations and then you're all done so that brings us to the conclusion of this Pinterest course and hopefully you have learned how to profit while using Pinterest okay so what I would suggest is that you guys take advantage of it now because as they state in their privacy policy this privacy policy may be updated from time to time we will notify you of any material changes by posting a new privacy policy on the site or via the application so you are advised to consult this policy regularly for any changes unless otherwise defined in this privacy policy terms used in this privacy policy have the same meanings as in your Pinterest terms of service and if you want to see all that you go here and here is the privacy read through that it's not very long at all and the terms of service probably take you I don't know 10 minutes to read all this here not that long but make sure you check all that out guys and thank you for watching and have a wonderful pennant week.